In my previous video, we explored use cases of leveraging Salesforce Generative AI for case classification and routing. Today, let's dive into the implementation steps using Apex and the Flow. By following these steps, you can empower your agents to handle incoming cases more efficiently and accurately. To start, we need to craft a prompt. Here's a sample prompt to guide you. User persona. Begin by defining the user persona. This sets the context for the language, for the large language model. Next, secure grounding. It includes the case record information, such as case subject and the case description, to provide context. In this case, for case prioritization, I use instruction pro prompting technique to clearly outline the rules for classifying the priority issues because each organization can have unique criteria for what constitutes a priority. So next, I'm using zero-shot prompting to leverage large language models capabilities to categorize the case into the various groups. If you want, you can also use instruction prompting to define specific rules for classification, experimenting with the different techniques to achieve the desired result. Lastly, we defined the desired output format, such as JSON. Also, we specify the results in, in this JSON. And this JSON output will be consumed by the APEX invocable methods next. Next, we need to create a prompt template in Salesforce. So go to the setup, search prompt, find the prompt builder, new prompt template. Make sure the template type is set to flex for use with Apex invocable methods. For the sake of demo, I have already created a sample template. After put inputting the prompt into the template, you can use the preview section to check resolution and response. As you can see, the case information has been included into the prompt. And also you can see the JSON output. You can also use this tool to tweak your prompt, to test and refine it. And also you can change to, to the different model to test. Now, let's create an invocable Apex method to call this prompt template. Here's my sample class, which will be invoked by a record triggered flow. So it takes the case ID from the flow and input into the prompt template. So we have also got the configuration parameters. Config parameters such as maximum tokens, preferred model. In this case, I'm using GPT-4 Turbo. Frequency penalty 
presence penalty, all these parameters. You can find connected REST API developer guide. This settings control the response conciseness and the randomness. You can change the different values for yourself to test the different results. Next, we're going to generate the response. And here, I strongly suggest you to use this debug statement to print out the safety score representation for your response. In this case, I'm using anonymous Apex to trigger this the method to print it out the score in the log. So I can inspect the scores. And you this can also helps find... ensure your response is safe, reducing bias and tox toxicity. After we have the JSON output, we extract information and pass back to the flow. So here's the example of the flow. So once we use the Apex action to get the JSON output, we use the update records action to update the relevant fields, such as routing the case to the correct queue. You can access the sample app source code in this GitHub repository. Feel free to experiment with the different prompts and the configurations. Generative AI provides exciting opportunities for developers to innovate, but we must also be vigilant about the potential biases and ensure responsible use. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for watching.